You saw that, right? That was a fish. <laughs> oh no, it broke it. Not the stuff that's only been around for, I don't know, 1.8 million years. <laughs> only? <laughs> only. So me freaking out then was just I got bit by a bee on my finger. It's okay. Flew out of nowhere. You can let the tears out, honey, Ow. it's all right. Hey guys, welcome back to another video and we are finally leaving Perth. It's only been a week and a half. <laughs> yeah, it hasn't been long, but it feels like we've been here a while. Gonna start heading north very slowly though, gonna chase the sun. Some of our favorite areas in WA is around like Geraldton and stuff. So um, yeah, we're pretty keen to head up that way and- Get stuck into it and yeah, ba get back on the road for a little while. A little bit more. Yep. Also, look how messy our front boot is. Well, I wouldn't say it's unmessy. It has some kind of system to it. Bryce knows where everything is apparently. Just doesn't look good. Just doesn't look good. So we try and keep this closed as much as possible. But how good's our shelf? That is an absolute game changer. If you know me, I am a little bit of a stress head, so getting out of the city from Fremantle today, a little bit on edge, making sure we've got all the directions right on the GPS, going to get onto the highway the easiest easiest way. Um, so I've just let Bryce know that I'm just cool as a cucumber, just going to sit back, relax, you let me know if you need anything, all right? Yeah, <laughs> she makes me out like I'm such a bad driver, but I think I'm pretty good. You're not a bad driver. I just couldn't imagine being in your position, driving manual through the city with a caravan on the back. Like, that just stresses me out. Like, I can tow the van and I can drive manual, but put a city and some hill starts and some crossroads and that, no, not for me. <laughs> so we've driven past this adult mega store and every time we drive past, we have the conversation like, is it just like a big variety of stuff or is it all just like mega things? <laughs> Well, big stompers. Leave that up to your imagination. <laughs> yeah. Interpretation. Yeah, let us know if you've been there. <laughs> so we don't really have an agenda at the moment. We're just traveling north and we're going to go check out a few spots along the way. And the first stop so far is Ledge Point. And we've come down on a perler of a day it's so calm out here so we'll probably go for a walk gonna have a bit of smoke cakes i'm a bit peckish and yeah just see what happens should i set up the deck chair and have a designated smoko like we see some people do oh yeah get the table out tablecloth yeah. over the top i think we're gonna just head to a gravel pit or just a free camp tonight probably just off the highway or something somewhere where we can spread out a little bit maybe have a fire because we've been in caravan parks for the last probably two weeks and we just need to have our own space <laughs> yeah and it'll also be good to test out the battery make sure i've done everything right we are meant to get some average weather over the next couple of days and to be like 10 to 20 mil of rain tonight so we just have to make sure when we park up that we don't find a dirt patch and we actually find some gravel. Don't show in here, it's like a Chinese laundry, your undies hanging up everywhere. <laughs> That's all right. That's real life for you. <laughs> I think, I could be wrong, I've been wrong once or twice before, but I think they're getting crayfish out there. I think they're cray pots. So maybe we might have to go make some friends. Yeah, go see if we can snag a cray. But like Chelsea said, she's but not wrong very often, are you? No, not at all. Last time we were down this way a couple years ago, we did help a guy who was stuck in the sand when he was retrieving his boat, and he walked out and gave us a cray. So we're thinking if we go be nice to some more people, we might get another one. Not bad, are you? We found a gravel pit for tonight, so it's up the road just from Lancelin. It's on the highway about five minutes up and it looks really good. And there's a few other people here. So there's like three caravans, a van, us. It's a massive area. You'll never guess what we found. Oh, the <laughs> stuff people throw away. There's a full on mattress here. It doesn't even look like in that bad a nick. You wanna, you wanna take it, put it in the van? It even comes with a side mirror off someone's oh, car. Oh, wow. Look at that. Stuff people throw away. Unreal. 
No, we're not actually taking it. <laughs> we don't want pea-soaked mattresses. <laughs> We ended up spending two nights at the gravel pit, although we did go out yesterday and explore the area, but the weather was absolutely shocking. So we just came back here, bunkered down last night again, because it was a really good spot. Nice hard ground. We were up on a bit of a hill as well, so it was a good spot for the night. We had about 40 mil of rain yesterday, so that's why we didn't really film because we spent most of the day in the van just um, watching TV and stuff. We're heading to Chavantes today, which is where the pinnacles are, or near where the pinnacles are. I think we're going to stay in the caravan park tonight because there is a few things in that town that we want to have a look at. Um, we need to use a dump point, fill up with water, and do all them fun things. So we thought we'll just book into the caravan park. It's a pretty good price and stuff. So uh, yeah, that's where we're heading today. Just walked up to the pinnacles. We're actually going here before we head to the caravan park in Chavantes. Cervantes, I really don't know how to say it. <laughs> but the self drive for the Pinnacles is closed today because we had so much rain last night and I think we had quite a bit early hours this morning as well that have closed the self drive. Um, but last time we were here, it was like COVID time. So there was no discovery center open. Um, and I think the self drive was your only option. So this time I'm just gonna switch it and do it the other way around. So hopefully it's still pretty good here. Just gonna have a look through the gallery and interpretive center first. And yeah. then we're gonna head out to the pinnacles. Yeah, actually learn something before we go look at them. Cause last time we only did the drive and this time we get to check it out in here. It's also $15 for a car to enter. But if you've got your national parks pass, you can cruise on in for free. That's what my photos are going to turn out like. <laughs> you reckon? I don't think you're that good of a photographer, mate. <laughs> Chelsea's worst nightmare. Bringing back hammock vibes, isn't it? Yeah, if you saw our last video, you would have seen one of them wanted to join me in the hammock, but it was like three times as big as that. So we did the Discovery Center and did we learn lots? Not really, but there are some cool animals through here. I've got a few different theories on how the pinnacles were made, but yeah, no one really knows because it's not that old and they don't know that much about it yet. And what Bryce said was the geologists don't actually really care yet because it's not old enough. Yeah, because so. it's not old enough, they're not interested. They want the cool, real old stuff, not the stuff that's only been around for, I don't know, 1.8 million years. <laughs> only. Only. Now we're gonna go do the walk trail. Uh, not sure how long it is, but we're hoping we don't get any rain on us because it seems to be a few showers still, but should be all right. Probably a good thing they haven't got the driving trail open because there's a few puddles of water over here. It's like a river. Yeah, so maybe maybe a good thing it's closed. We've got the snorkel, Bryce, all right? We can do it. Yeah, but it's not about us. It's about all the, the two-wheel drivers that are driving oh, yeah. through. True. Yeah, and we don't want to ruin the tracks too much so that you can't use it again later. These pinnacles go for a lot longer than what you expect. Like all the way in the distance over there, you can see them. Okay, this bad boy is only a couple hundred thousand years old. You're probably not meant to touch them, are you? I well, think you can touch them, you're just not meant to climb on them. Oh. Yeah, loophole. Hey guys, sorry, just about ran you over. Didn't see you there. How you doing? Hello. So we ended up changing our plans. Uh, we were gonna stay at Cervantes, but the weather down the beach was pretty average. We ended up staying down there for most of the day, had lunch down there. We also went for a bit of a skate, walk around, had a look at most of the things we wanted to look at filled up with water and then we found a rest area just up the road. So we're gonna stay here tonight, head to Durian Bay tomorrow and yeah, get stuck into hopefully being back by the beach. We did have plans to upload a video while we're here, but unfortunately we've only got like half a bar of signal, so it ain't gonna cut it. So we're actually gonna to have to talk to each other, which is gonna be a bit rough. Great. <laughs> Unlucky. And this is one of Bryce's favorite type of free cams with a table and chair so he doesn't have to set anything up. Yeah, even got shelter, got a bit of shade, so I don't have to do anything. I'm not even gonna put my legs down.
We are out at Sandy Cape, just at the information bay before you go into the campgrounds. It's meant to be a few camps up the coast here and we're just gonna check out which one looks best and the most caravan friendly. I think you just have to fill out these forms and pop them in the box over here before you head in. Then the ranger checks on you. Um, it's $20 a night, so pretty cheap. And it's by the ocean. Because of all the rain we've had, it's pretty snotty going in. And there's quite a bit of water laying about. They're not corrugations, they're just bumps. Just lumps and bumps. They're not yeah. too bad, it's just the case of going slow yeah. though, that's the only problem. Well, we got to Sandy Cape just in time because the rain has just come in. We could see a big front coming over and it was looking real snotty. So quickly unhooked the van, hooked up the, uh, not hooked up, set up the awning and now we're in here having a bit of breakfast. But it looks so good by the beach. We were like, just kind of took the first spot that we saw because it is quite busy here. And then we walked just over the little dune and the beach is beautiful. So we are very happy with, um, yeah, this spot so far. Well, the afternoon has gotten much better now. The sun's come out a bit, blue skies, and even better now that I'm having a beer. And I'm watching Chelsea feed the fish. How are you doing? Doing a great job, right? Yeah, yeah. all right, liar. I got a half decent bite then. I thought I was on, but. No, I'm not I think they're just a little whiting or something, pinging me off. Yeah, no one else seems to be catching too much, so yeah, while you're feeding, I'm gonna keep drinking. We originally just booked one night at Sandy Cape, but because it's so beautiful here, we have gone and booked another night for tonight. Today, we are gonna head 15 minutes down the road into Durian Bay, which is quite a popular holiday destination for people on the West Coast, we've heard. Well, this place is a bit busier than last time. Yeah, last time we were here, everything was shut because of COVID. Yeah, even the jetty was closed. Like, you couldn't walk out on it, couldn't go on it because of COVID. Strange. It's like they think you were going to catch COVID from the fish or something. Yeah, off the jetty. After the weather we've had the last week, today is a perler. We are so happy, that's why we're out and about and we thought we'd spend another night in this area. We did inquire the other day with the caravan park about staying when the weather was pretty average. We thought we'd just bunker down here, but it was going to be $50 a night for a powered site. And the caravan park is not even close to as nice as out at Sandy Cape, which is $20 a night. So if you want to do a bit of bush camping and you're not fussed on power and water, definitely go to Sandy Cape over Durian Bay. That's just our personal opinion. Hi. Hi, see you there. Hey there, how's it going? I just about ran over a snake up there. Oh really? Yeah, it was probably only this big, but um. What yeah. sort of snake was it? I think it was a brown snake. Ooh, so, that's yeah. no good. Enough to keep an eye out. You will. Um, do you want to tell everyone about the the new upgrades we've got? Oh yeah, we did a lift and some new tires. <laughs> yep, put a lift kit and some new tires on the skateboard. But in all seriousness, we did um, put a couple more blocks in there to lift it up, and we got these new off-road tires. They're like cloud wheels, so. Yeah, just allows us to go anywhere and not really have to worry about if the path's good or not to ride on, so. Yeah, for us, like, we're not always in places that are perfect for skating around, so having these ones make it a little bit nicer and a little bit, a little bit more comfortable. Yeah, a bit more cushion. So we've actually really loved having the skateboards. Mine is finally in the country, so we should have that in a few weeks time, which will be really good. Make a good little addition for both of us to be able to scoot around. We've had this and it's got a little odometer on it and we've done probably 150 kilometers on it so far. of just cruising around and yeah, it's been wicked so far. Managed to get it up to 30 kilometers an hour, but at that point you start getting a little bit sketchy. It's a bit, uh, bit fast and uh, I don't really want to go for a stack either.
It also comes with a few different modes that you can select on the board, low, medium, high, and pro, so that uh, yeah, you can control how fast you wanna be cruising around and how quickly it takes off. Um, if you are interested in a board like this, make sure to hit the description below. We've got a discount code that gets you 30 American dollars off the price of the board on top of any other discounts they're running at the moment. How good is this for a nice little spot for lunch? Get out in the sun, beautiful day, and have a look at this. Well, we have absolutely lucked out with tonight's camp. Beachfront, $20 a night. It's pretty awesome. We actually stayed here a couple of years ago. It's called Cliffhead North. And yeah, we thought this place would be absolutely chockers with people. It's about 11.30 in the morning and yeah, we were one of the only ones here. And how about this? We've got grass too. Nice grassy site. This is better than most caravan parks I've had lately. Like grass wise, they're yeah, good. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights At Cliffhead North this afternoon we've chucked a line in for the first half an hour it's just getting really tiny bites I think it was just like puffer fish and stuff and then all of a sudden we've got onto two mulloways shame they haven't been sized and then then I just got um, my rig pinged off by a big one like I was struggling to bring it in so I think we need to put some heavier gear on and get the rods back out there flip out the water? no no I flipped out the water before so it took Bryce's rod into the water and we both sprinted as fast as we could to get it Little bit sandy now. Come on, we had one of these before and it broke the line, so. Oh no! Oh. Oh. You saw that, right? That was a fish! <laughs> oh no, it broke it. She snapped straight off. Oh. Damn. That was a big mulloway too. <laughs> oh, was it a mulloway? I'm pretty sure. Oh no. I don't know Could what to do. Look at my reel. <gasps> oh my God, it's going to break it. I've got like a whiting rig on here right now. <laughs> we are so unprepared for this. I was just prepared to get some puffer fish today. <laughs> That's right, just keep reeling in slowly. Okay. I think it's a little stingray or eagle ray or something. Don't know how we're going to get this off. Oh, is that? Yeah. Yeah, it is. Oh, shit. Just squawk it up. Don't get hurt. <gasps> In, go, 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 go! Other way, other way! Oh. This not very good. Go, 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 go! Hey, you got him. There it is. Don't come back. Wow, crisis averted. Well, let us know in the comments what you do when you get a stingray on the beach, because <laughs> We don't really know. And don't say eat it or I'll block you. <laughs> <laughs> we have been very lucky with the weather we've got the last couple of days at Cliffhead North. And today doesn't really look too good. Look at that ocean. probably good that we are leaving today from the look of that water it's not very nice out there I'm gonna finish this video here so thanks again for following along and watching if you are enjoying them please make sure to like and subscribe and if ah!
So me freaking out then was just I got bit by a bee on my finger. It's okay. Flew out of nowhere. Let, you can let the tears out, honey. Wow. It's all right. Oh, that actually really hurt. I haven't got a bee sting in like years. Wow. Anyway, we are going to leave this video here. So if you are enjoying it, please make sure to like and subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. And um, just wish that my finger gets a little bit better. <laughs>